All right. Hello. Hello, everybody. So we're going to do a gusset and a suit jacket. This customer wanted their suit jacket to fit just a little bit more. It didn't quite close the way it didn't. It was like a two inches shy of being able to close on them. So what we're going to do is create a what's called a gusset. And it's basically when you just take your time and you open up the side seam. I've opened the side seam like I think it's 10 or 12 inches for them. They don't want it to be visible, number one. So we're not going to, we don't have time to go and match this house tooth material anyways. It's like a, it's a nice material. Um, it's uh, woven, but since we don't have time to look for this fabric and try to add it in, and we want to be able to give them the option of actually closing their suit where it still gives this certain type of tailored look. We don't want to destroy, we want to keep the integrity of that tailored look. So what we're going to do is I found a um, stretchy fabric, four-way stretch, and we're going to add it in the side seam. And what we do is first you have your um the different things you need you know you need a seam ripper you need some snips and you need your scissors of course i like these fiskers ones that do this i really like these these are nice you don't need this for this but that's just something you need um you need some pins if you have a pin cushion great if you don't it's fine um but the first thing i've already done it sorry <laughs> but you want to take your time and of course you're going to measure and mark where you're going to take the seam a loose and then once you've taken your time taking the seam a loose the outer seam as well as the lining you're then going to take the gusset your gusset should be the length of of what you're doing but add at least an inch to the length so that you'll have something to work with and it won't be the exact amount um, I hope this is making sense to you. If not, please do say so. Um, know your right side from your wrong side. This material has a clear, defined right side from the wrong side. And we're going to put the darker side on the outside, of course. And we're going to place this in the sink. Now, you can sew this different ways. One of the ways that you can go about sewing this in place is to actually just attach it to the out seam first. By that, I mean, you can go ahead and attach it to the outer lining material, the shell fabric, in the sides, in the, within the seam allowance that already exists. That's one way we can sew this in place. The other way to sew it is to simply just top stitch it. Either way, they both work. It just depends on which one of the looks you're trying to achieve. So I'm going to show you how to place this with doing it, with adding it into the outer shell's seam allowance first that already exists. And as long as you allow for at least an inch beyond the, the opening that you need for the uh, necessary needed length add it for the gusset you'll be good to go i recommend using pins just don't forget that the pins are in the garment that's never any fun you just have to be conscious of that because you don't want a customer to get a garment and then they're like sticking and poking them that would suck a lot. So I'm just pinning my seam allowance that already exists here. I'm unfolding it like that. And then I'm putting it in place with to hold it. Uh, you see, I have, this is where my opening stopped, but I still have about an inch left of fabric below where I need to sew. An inch left of fabric down there. And I'm 
just going to put that in its place. Try not to stretch it because it's a stretchy fabric. You don't want to overstretch it. And I am going to slightly overlap this piece because it's a little bit wider than what's needed. So I'm overlapping the seam allowance by double. And there you have it. That's this piece here. And now I'm going to just stitch it in place. Make sure you don't stretch it. You don't want that because that will ultimately change how it looks and feels for your customer once they put it on. Almost done with everything. Make sure you keep that lining, the uh, seam allowance open rather, not closed down, fold it over. And I'm sewing just next to that seam allowance fold because I know I have more than enough excess of fabric to work with. And seeing how it's stretchy material, it is going to hold the way the customer needs it um, for the look and to keep the integrity of the suit jacket that they have. And make sure you keep the lining out of the way while you're sewing it. You got it. Do, 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 do. You got it. Just a little bit. Yeah. Okay. Make sure you get that fabric out of the way. Okay. And now we're going to clip that, move your needles out the place, take your foot off of the pedal so that you don't roll over your own fingers. And then we're going to take those pins out. And I'm going to show you what this now looks like once you add your sewing it. Careful, ooh, that would have been bad. All right. So this is with it sewing it into the seam fold, the seam allowance that already exists. It's a nice smooth versus top stitching. Now I will have to go back to sew the lining on the inside. Now how to how you can sew the lining and the outer shell simultaneously is if you were to top stitch them and I'm going to show you that just now. Actually you don't have to top stitch them. You can sew them from the inside simultaneously but that's a little bit more it's a little bit more tech uh, I don't want to say challenging but to try and sew this piece sandwiched from within it, it, it is doable between the two items um and you could have sewn them simultaneously on one side at the same time, the lining, the gusset, and the outer shell fabric. It is doable. It is. I'm not going to say it's not. I just know that if you're trying to do a lot of alterations in a fast amount of time frame, you got to figure out what things can you eliminate so that you can get uh, do a more efficient process of getting things done. Yeah, that's all alterations is, is figuring out how can I get the best quality job done most efficiently without uh, losing the integrity of sewing or the integrity of the garment, of course. There is a way. Am I going to show you today? No. Because, okay, so if we were to try and sew this at the same time, all together, sandwiched, you would need to further open up more areas to achieve that it wouldn't be easy to it is easy it's simple but you do have to take the time to take 
everything else a lose to achieve it. Because the one we already sewed in with this extra piece here, here's the outer shell, here's the lining that now needs to go on top of it. But you see it's inside here in between the lining and the outer shell. And to achieve that, I would have had to go in from the other side of the garment itself to try and get to all of these at the same time. And that's the only reason why I did not do it. But it is doable. Granted, you have time to do it. That's enough talking about that. And let's just sew the rest of this together right quick. Uh, here we go. So you have your... Um, gusset already sewn in place and now you are going to go ahead and sew your other side in place make sure you keep everything nice and smooth and even and together you want you don't want to end up sewing it where your fabric is twisted or anything you just want to keep it all together nice and together now, if we were to top stitch this, it is going to be visible when you top stitch something. Um, as a matter of fact, the other side is top stitched. Instead of me going the way I just did with sewing the seam allowance to one side, this side is top stitched. You can see the side. See that here? It's sewn pretty close to the edge but it's still top stitched. I don't know if you can necessarily see it, but in comparison to the opposite side, that is much, much more smoother. You see that? There's a smoothness to this side versus this side where it's got a bumpy ridge. That's the difference between top stitching and sewing it to the seam allowance that's already there for you to follow. Prayerfully, that makes sense to you. Now let's go ahead and put this in. I'm going to show you it with it being top stitch this time, just so you can know how it flows, how it goes, and we'll be done with this because we don't have all day to keep sewing one particular garment. That's the game that we are trying to fulfill. So, I am placing, give me just a moment. Give me just a moment. Right quick. I'll be right back.
Sorry about that. Okay, so we're almost done. We're going to attach this um, other side here. We're going to do it via top stitching. All right, so first of all, you're going to go and place your seam. I have my hand from up underneath the garment. And you just want to make sure you're not pinning anything else extra. So, actually, I'm not. You know, yeah, we're going to show you. This is just to get it done in one swoop instead. And I'm basically holding my hand underneath. And this is where I can feel the fabric between the two. And I'm going to just pinch and hold it with one hand and go back and stitch it in, um, not stitch it, <laughs> pin it in place. I'm gonna go down to the bottom of this same area and I'm going to put the extra piece of fabric, the gusset, inside on the other side and I'm going to hold it. I'm stretching and holding. The best way to do this is to, if you can manage, holding all of the fabric at the same time. If it's not too bulky, you can do it. But I stuffed all of that fabric on the inside and I'm going to meet the seam that's already here. So there's a seam from this one being attached already. And I'm going to meet that from the inside. I'm holding it from the outside. I'm also stretching. I'm also not stretching, stretching, but I'm holding the fabric down in place like that. I'm holding it. Holding it nice and taut so that it doesn't, so that it can be accurate. That's the goal. You want accuracy when you're sewing as much as possible because you don't want it to be shifty when the customer is wearing it. That is the last thing you want is some shifty garment. And I'm gonna hold that in place. And one of our pins will hold it exactly where we need it. And I can feel the lining, the outer shell at the same time, pin it and hold. And now that I've got that, all I'm gonna do is start sewing it in place. Make sure you know that you don't have any extra fabric bulky underneath because you don't want to have to go back and take that all out. So everything's holding pretty, pretty well. And here we go. Right now we can begin sewing, so we're going to stitch, back stitch, and then all I'm doing, let me bring you around here a little closer. So all I'm doing is making sure that where the lining ends and the under, the outer shell is, that they're matching up. You can feel it. And you can tell once you're filling in that space if it's right or not. And then, of course, everything's pent and holding in the right spots. So just feel for it to match up together. It's okay if you're slightly over from, if the lining is slightly um, inside just a little bit, just in case. But you can always go back and fix that. And I'm just riding, I'm riding the center of the foot with the edge of the lining and the edge of the uh, outer shell. Hello, I'll be right with you. One second, guys.
Oh, okay. I don't know if you can see this all that well because you're on like the machine and it's got a subtle vibration. Um, like I said, you're going to feel for the outer shell and the lining to be placed together. And I'm just riding it right in the middle of the uh, the foot that you have here. And make sure again that you don't have any bulkiness from the other fabric because that's a pain to go back and have to fix. All righty. Now when you get to this arm area, it is tight. It's very tight in here. It is not um, spacious. Well, all you're going to do, again, is line it up with the side that you've already completed. Hold that side in place, and then you'll be able to know where to place the other fabric. And then you can add the lining. I'm not necessarily pulling the gusset that I added too far over. I'm just holding the same spot where I ended on one side with the other. Try to hold it as even as possible because if you don't, you'll get like a bulkiness once you're finished. And we want to avoid that as much as possible. If you can't hold it directly in the same spot, at least relatively close is good. And as you're holding it, you can pin that, which I will for the sake of the video. And as you can see, I've pinned it underneath where I'm holding it and hold that there. I'm going to take my other hand to hold this down. It doesn't really matter. You do whichever one works for you best. And you start to sew. Again, keeping all the extra bulky fabric out of the way. Because you don't want that hassle. All right. Okay. And I'm still doing the same stitching in place. Hello, I'll be right with you just a moment.
Okay, I'm almost done. Sorry about that. This was supposed to be a 15-minute video and it has turned into a 30-minute video. But that's because I'm always at work when I do a video. Because that's where all the alterations take place. And uh, let's see, where are we at? Okay, so we're at the end of this piece here. And I'm just going to ride it into the seam. Um, the way this was closed is the only reason why, because it was closed, because it was this is the opening scene they used to close the whole jacket. So this is a little bit funny how they finished this, but it's okay. And I'm going to start at the other end to close it. So this was top stitched, by the way. We have lost where we are at in the process of the whole shebang. Okay, we're going to take these out, take that out, and uh, we're going to start above here. This is the side that we sewed into the actual seam allowance here. We didn't do top stitching like we did on the other side. I'm going to show you once I finish closing this up how that looks. So for the side that we did it the other way, what you're going to do is go back and you're going to hold this in place. You're going to just hold it. Or use the um, foot. The pro Which one's the? I don't know. I don't remember at the moment. It doesn't matter. Okay, so you want to make sure you smooth everything out underneath because you won't be able to see where you're sewing from here. You're not going to see it. You're, you're going to cause a top stitching like uh, thing to take place from here, which is okay. It's not a bad thing. You just have to know what you're doing. So for one thing, we're going to place our seam, our side seams that are here from the jacket itself where the shoulder, the bottom of the shoulder seam is. I'm going to hold that with my hand right here. We're going to hold that in place and we're going to tuck it. We're going to tuck it in place. We're going to tuck it just like this. Got to make sure we're hiding all of that extra raw edges that are from the outer lining, the outer shell, should I say. Once you have that tucked, you can pin it. Just don't forget you have the pin in there. Make sure you take it back out once you're finished. And then I'm going to hold that so that I can. And we're going to go back and cut all these extra threads that we don't need anymore. Make sure you cut all that out. So tucking that edge in place. Make sure you keep the other side nice and smooth, nice and smooth. Line it up as close as possible, of course, always, always. And we are going to start sewing that from right there. Again, make sure you have everything underneath smooth from the outer lining, the outer shell. I'm sorry, I keep saying lining. And then you just sew up. Oh, raw edge is trying to be exposed. Ah, uh ah. -uh. No, 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 no. Get back, Jack. Get back underneath there. We're just going to take our sewing back a little bit and we're going to tuck that in place. 
stuck it in place. Back stitch it, but it's fine. And we are sewing, 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 sewing. It might end up being slightly visible, I do believe. But everything is smooth. I will have to answer the phone in just a second. I don't have to answer the phone. Okay, so here we go. Now we're at the part where it was the side seam for the shoulder. And you want to get your hand up underneath there into the sleeve area because you want to hold that where it was at. This is where we ended up here. This is where we ended on this side. And we want to tuck all those raw edges back inside there really good. Tuck it in there. You don't need it. And you're going to remember to keep that raw edge of your lining along with the raw edge of the outer shell. Take your foot off the pedal because you do not want to sew over your hand. That, I have never done anything remotely close to that. That's why you always take your foot off when you're trying to fumble with the fabric. I don't know why it is not tucking up in this bad boy. What is the problem here? Oh my gosh. Stop it. It's being hard at it. Because the thing is you don't want to stretch the one fabric that's stretchy because you have the lining that's not stretchy and you're trying to make sure everything is good and good and good. Let's take it back just a little bit. Prayerfully, this is not going to be redo but I don't have time for no redoing how do you guys talk to your fabrics the clothes when you're sewing how do you talk to them sometimes I talk nice and sometimes I just be fussing at the fabric the clothes like I cooperate do what I'm asking you to do with sewing it's a it's 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 probably I would say 70 75 percent mental and the rest is just like technique or gauging what would work best for what you're doing because you have to think the entire time when you're sewing whether it's alterations or not a lot of it is mental mental thought of what works what gives you the in what best way gives you the end result you desire that's what we're all trying to figure out in so many ways. Quickly, fast, without having to go back and redo something. But a lot of the times you end up having to go back and redo something. It's unfortunate, but it's the truth of sewing. There's always some little thing you have to fix that you didn't plan on fixing that now you've got to fix. And now we're going to go back and clip all our threads. Clip your threads from underneath as well. And we have a little boo-boo. Let's look at it. So we stitched it. We stitched this, right? We went ahead and we stitched it. We got the inside stitching. I'm going to put you back up here. I'm about to lose battery. Don't go, don't go, don't go. Good. Battery in? Yes. Okay, we're good. All right, so we put this back in place on the other side. Um, I do have to go back and fix a few little snags here and there and take off these excess pieces, of course. But outside of that, On the outside, we've got a few threads showing. Throw those away. Throw it away. Throw it away. I can go back and clip that and fix it. But the issue is this, and I knew it was going to happen because I could not see it. This little section right here. 
what we're going to do is top stitch it from this side. When you have something that messes up, you just go back and fix it as best you can with quality. Because that's what it's all about. Quality. Give the quality that you yourself would desire. And then when you can't do it, you go find somebody who can. Alrighty. So we're going to put this back inside just like that. Alrighty. I have a few little pools and tugs that I don't necessarily like. I think I might have to go back and take this stitch out and redo it. Because I genuinely don't like where it's at. I'm serious. I don't like where it's at. I am going to take this seam out. But before I do that, I'm just going to finish this off first. So we're going to top stitch this side in place. Again, make sure nothing is in the way underneath or on the top. Okay, so we are switching back. And the stitch. I'm going to double stitch over that seam there. Still checking to make sure nothing underneath is getting caught. Just clip that away. This little piece here that is escaping to the sun. And there you have it. So the difference between top stitching and not is the level of smoothness that you get out of it. This side was tops was sewn within the seam allowance and this side was top stitch. You can automatically see the difference. See this is top stitched. See the smoothness that exists on this side. It's not on the other side. That's just how it goes guys. All right we're done. Thanks for watching and of course make sure you go and check make sure there's no loose gaps anything open or whatever but that's that. And now her suit jacket will close. It's hidden underneath her arm. You're not going to see it. It's just enough like she wanted. And we're good. I'll give you a full view. And of course, you want to press it, you know, iron it, make it smooth and all that good stuff. But that's it. Thanks for watching. Catch me later on another one. Enjoy doing your alterations. <laughs>